Okay, so uh, today we'll be doing linkages. So, so one of the questions we encountered on the on the Google form is, um, what types of link? What types of linkages are there? So, firstly, there's a reverse motion linkage. Secondly, there's a parallel motion linkage followed by the crank and slider linkage and lastly, the bell crank linkage. Okay, an example of the a linkage, for example, the reserve motion linkage. Uh, one use in life is that is the reserve motion linkage is used in emergency exit door locks. So, in your emergency exit door locks, you will be able to find the crank motion linkage. Awesome. So secondly, we have the parallel motion linkage and one example in life is the toolbox drawers. Okay. Followed by the crank and slider linkage. An example and use in life is in the train. And lastly, we have our last linkage which is the bell crank linkage. An example in life, and which is a very useful one, is the bicycle brakes. Whoa. Okay, so how does the bicycle mechanism work? Okay, as the brake lever on the bike is pulled, the, the cable must uh, move upwards and forces the brake blocks against the rim of the wheel. Uh, what are the types uh, of linkage involved on bicycle brakes? They are bell, <coughs> bell crank linkage. Yeah, uh, these are the websites we use uh, for our presentation. Wikipedia. The answer is on Wikipedia. Uh, hello, my name is Thomas Storm. Hi guys, hi guys. I'm with Brian Yo, Keen, William and Dear So uh, today I'll be doing about gears on the assignment. About gears. Gears are two wheels designed to transmit stock to another gear or two components. The teeth of gears are shaped to minimize wear, minimize wear, vibration and noise, and to maximize the efficiency of power transmission. Gears and the use of gears are essential in daily life living, and can be found in mechanical devices as well as everyday household objects. Examples, for instance, an electronic screwdriver has a very large gear reduction because it needs a lot of torque to turn screws, but the motor only produces a small amount of torque at a high speed. With a gear reduction, the output speed can be reduced while the torque is increased. How does gears work? Gears are used in tons of mechanical devices. They do, they do several important jobs, but most important, they provide a gear reduction in motorized equipment. This is key because often a small motor spinning very fast can provide enough power for a device, but not enough torque. Some pictures of the examples of gears, like correction tape and the gears in the clock. Another thing about gears, another thing gears do is adjust the direction of rotation. For instance, in the di differential between the rear wheels of your car, the power is transmitted by a shaft that runs down the center of the car and the differential has to turn their power energy degrees to apply it to the wheels. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys.